We live in an era of access due to in part by the internet. We have a near limitless supply of everything from knowledge to news to drugs to porn. We are at a constant state of overstimulation. Every second we're taking in a thousand times more information than we would have been able to otherwise. And this is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, Humans are able to learn and transfer knowledge at a much quicker pace than we ever have before in the history of our race. But at the same time, our brains weren't designed to take in this much stimulation at once. We are constantly fed every single negative thing happening in the world. They were really designed to take in the problems in our local vicinity. So it comes as no surprise to me that there is a correlation between extended social media use and depression. And even besides that, I think it could serve as a distraction from having to deal with what's going on with you internally. Because there's so much noise, you don't really get the chance to reflect on yourself and your life. So you end up having all of this pent up anxiety to the point where you don't even really know where it's coming from. That's why I think it's so important to give your mind a break from all of that noise so that you can have a conversation with yourself and clear out everything that's going on in your head. And that's why I meditate. It really creates an environment where you're forced to deal with yourself. There's nothing to distract you from yourself. So you have really nothing to do except go through and sort out all of your thoughts. Think of your mind as almost a email inbox. If you never go through and check all of those emails, eventually they build up to the point where it's a bit daunting, right? So in that analogy, meditation is almost like going through that inbox so you're consistently getting to the point where you have zero unread emails. How I personally meditate, and there's many ways to do it, is I set aside 20 minutes twice a day, every single day. I put myself in a comfortable position. Doesn't really matter how and repeat a nonsensical mantra. In my case, rum, 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 over and over again. Now do that for the whole 20 minutes. If outside thoughts come, I won't fight them. I'll just kind of let them come and go. But I'll always try to return to that mantra. And eventually the thoughts will stop and I'll just be there. It's sort of hard to explain. It's almost like the runner's high equivalent. You know, like that lightheadedness that you get when you run to the point of exhaustion. I know for a lot of people, this process can be pretty difficult at first. It's hard to go from being overly stimulated to being basically not stimulated at all. But I promise you, if you keep at it, it will get easier. Just give yourself sufficient time to get used to it. Give yourself like 90 days to try to get into meditation. This is pretty anecdotal, but I do feel a massive difference between times where I'm very on schedule with my meditation versus times where I'm pretty on and off with doing meditation. I feel a lot more calm on days where I'm doing it very consistently. And yeah, that's pretty much how I meditate and my reasons for doing it. I know a lot of people won't, but I definitely recommend giving it a try at least. And um, till next time, peace.